Hey everyone, welcome. Uh, this is a quick video on how to set up custom metrics in AnyPoint Monitoring. Um, I created this video based off of a comment that I saw in one of my other videos. Um, if you have any topics that you want me to cover, uh, just leave a comment below and I'll try to find some time to, to create a video based off of that specific topic. Okay, Okay. so AnyPoint Monitoring, it's been out for about a year now. It came out, came out around December of 2018. Um, what it provides the ability for you to monitor your apps and your flows um, regardless of where they're deployed. If you have it deployed in Cloud Hub, if you have it deployed in on your on-premise data center or in Runtime Fabric, you have the ability to collect that information around how those applications are performing. Um, it, it essentially collects the logs into a centralized log store, um, but also one of the added benefits is, is custom metrics. So you have the ability to bubble up operational and business metric data from your applications, right? your APIs, your integrations, your, your batch processes uh, into a custom dashboard and display that within any point monitoring. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we'll look at, of course, is the connector itself within Studio. So uh, within a project that you have an API and integration if you have a you know a flow where you want to collect this data you're gonna go ahead and drop in that component so of course if you don't have the component within your meal palette already within your project you're gonna go ahead and search on exchange search for custom um, monitoring uh, and you'll find that that component you'll add that into your palette and you can see that there's only one operation which is send custom metric um, once you drag and drop that into your flow you're going to go ahead and configure that. So when you configure it, you're going to go ahead and give it a, a, a metric name. In this case, I'm going to call mine customer. You're going to edit it in line, and then you're going to go ahead and configure two different areas. You need, you need both of these. So the first one, of course, is the dimensions. And this is uh, information that you want to go ahead and pass into any point monitoring um, related to the data that's flowing through. So you can see here in the input step, uh, input uh, metadata, these are the different fields that are coming out of my SAP connector. In this case, this API that I have set up is essentially collecting or, or returning back customer information to the um, user that's making a request. So in this case, it's going to go ahead and return back these specific fields. So say, for example, I want to go ahead and also collect the region name. So I'm going to go ahead and click on plus. I'm going to give that name, fill that name in, call it region. And then in the value field, of course, we can go ahead and um, go ahead and, and type in um, the uh, value that I want to go ahead and, and push into the metrics. So we're going to go ahead and do payload region. Uh, we'll leave the collapsible as uh, the default value and click on finish. And you can see here um, that that new value is added into the dimensions. So uh, the next one, of course, is the facts. Facts always need to be a numerical value. So in this case here, I've added a, a count uh, fact and that's just always going to be a default value of one, but this could be you know um, the price of a product or um, the uh, you know the quantity of customers or, or users within a region, right? Uh, but the idea is that this fact is is going to be used by the custom metrics when you you know uh, design and develop you know build a, a a dashboard that needs that those values to kind of uh, display the data. Okay. So um, once you have this custom metric setup component, uh, custom metric component set up within your flow, you're going to go ahead and deploy this into uh, your into runtime manager and deploy this out to a meal runtime. Okay. So switching over to endpoint platform, I've gone ahead and deployed this application already through runtime manager. Uh, let's go ahead and test out the, the API and make sure that we run some data through here so we can see you know if we make a request. Uh, and pass in the customer number, we're going to get data back from my SAP instance. Let's go ahead also um, and generate some additional information with some other regions and post postal codes. So here I have Arizona and then another postal code. And then let me go ahead and do one more. We'll do uh, Texas as well and have a couple um, more data points here. So um, switching back over to any point platform now, if we jump into monitoring, uh, within the built-in dashboards, if we navigate to that specific application and view that data, there is a section over here toward the end called custom metrics. And custom metrics essentially bubbles up all the different metrics that you have available for this application. You can see in this application here, I have postal code and region set up, right? Uh, additionally, the measurements you have set up here, 
there's count count um, I'm using a shared account so it actually bubbles up some some additional measurements from other um, applications in my environment um, but essentially this is going to show the facts that you you set up within your application and then the group by is going to be the dimensions for that application and then lastly you can set up the measures to be a, a count, a median, a, a sum of the total, right? But this essentially displays that information related to these metrics that you've set up within your application. So that is within the built-in dashboards, okay? If we jump over to the custom dashboards, this is where you can set up a, a new custom dashboard that collects that those custom metrics and displays that within a dashboard that's relevant to a business user that they want to see in relation to a set of APIs or a set of uh, business metrics that are relevant to uh, you know a product line or a customer base. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open up one that I've already configured in here. You can see I have uh, some some dashboards, some some charts already set up in here. Um, let's go ahead and set up a new one to kind of show you the process of, of how that's done. So if we go ahead and add a new widget in here, we're going to go ahead and add in a graph. And when you add a new graph into the dashboard, it's currently not collecting any information. Um, so you want to go over here to the top right, click on configure, and then set it up to actually collect that information from the underlying you know, data that's being collected. So um, within a graph, we want to go ahead and turn on advanced mode. And advanced mode allows you to go ahead and select the specific metrics that you want pulled from your different applications. So um, first thing we want to go ahead and do is in the from field we can go ahead and choose um, where we want those metrics to be collected from. Um, sometimes I've noticed that it doesn't actually display the specific field so you can go ahead and actually type in custom metric here uh, and, and hit enter and that's going to go ahead and display those metrics. Um, from the from field, we see that it's going to go ahead and pull it from your existing organization, uh, and then it does an and, and then the environment, we want to go ahead and switch that to production, because that current application is currently running in production. We're going to go ahead and do another plus sign, and then this one allows you to select um, that we're going to go ahead and pull the specific app. So for the app, we want to select customer SAP API. That's the application that we've configured that has that custom uh, metrics component. And then um, in the group field, we want to go ahead and select, uh, keep the time as default. For the tag, we can actually see the different metrics and, and different fields that we can go ahead and group by. So in this case, we're going to group by, um, let's go ahead and select postal code and leave the fill as linear. And then also for the select, we want to go ahead and select the fact, right, or the, the measurement for this specific field around the total number of regions, um, the total number of requests that go through and how many of those are a specific region, right? So we're going to go ahead and select count.count. .count. That's the, the, the fact that we had set up within our application. Tag again is postal code. And then the alias by, if we go ahead and delete this, you'll see in a second why um, what that does. So uh, we'll leave that blank for now and click on apply changes and then if we um, go ahead and, and scroll up a bit you can see it's starting to go ahead and take that data that's being collected from the custom metric component and generate the graph for that. So let's go ahead and reduce the time series uh, down to 30 minutes. Click on confirm and you can see here here's that data that's being collected. So these were the requests that I made earlier uh, right uh, for I think it was California, Texas, and Arizona those codes so what we can do now and then down below within the legend you can see that it says custom metrics dot mean and then for those postal codes um, going back down to the alias let's go ahead and um, type in tag and then uh, postal code and that'll change uh, the view of that specific legend field so once we click on apply changes and scroll back up to the top it's going to go ahead and show me the postal code for um, that specific metric. Okay, so once that's set up, uh, you can go ahead and here configure the title of this graph. We can say that this is the uh, was it the the, the region code uh, metrics, right? And click on apply changes, and then when we click on X, it's going to go ahead and close that up, and then uh, present the data back to you. So we can change the time series here back down to 15. You can see that this is just additional data, uh, but hopefully this gave you a good understanding of how to set up the 
connector within your Mule application within Anypoint Studio. And then from an Anypoint monitoring standpoint, how to set up that chart uh, within your, your custom dashboards, okay? If you have any questions, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, in the beginning of the, 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 the video, I had my email address. You can also email me if you have any questions, but hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to set up custom metrics within Anypoint monitoring, okay?